Hello and welcome back to our final Ones to Watch episode of 2019, powered by our friends at Football Index. Now, as always, I'm joined by former Celtic, Aston Villa and Bayern Munich player Alan McAnally in his freshly brushed boots as well. Cheers, Al. Oh, you made the effort you. this week, didn't it's you? It's freezing, that's why. I had to yeah. put my boots on. I'm getting well, old, remember? You're looking very dapper, Thank very you, dapper. Thank you for joining us. Now then, let's take a quick look back at last week and an extremely unfortunate uh, ACL injury to Memphis Depay goes to show there are no guarantees with football index. Yeah, that's right. I'm mean, really unfortunate for me after us, you know, talking about him up. you know, he's, he's on his way and it looked a, a good one to have in our football index. He's out for six months, which means of course he'll miss the Euros, which is not particularly good. And obviously his share price dropped quite dramatically. Now remember it's a long run for football index, it's not a quick fix. No. And if you've got him in your portfolio, then don't worry about it because once he gets hopefully fit again, his share price will of course uh, hopefully anyway rise and uh, if people are buying the share price and people think he's underpriced then naturally that's when the share price will go up but he's going to be out for a little bit unfortunately we uh, sort of yeah, sorry about that last week. <laughs> yeah exactly we've, we've kind of given him a kill and remember if you've joined football index you're not enjoying it then don't worry you can instant sell your shares just email them within seven days and we will refund losses of up to 500 pounds there's a link to the offer in the description below. Now then, Al, the other two players from last week were Gerard Delafeo, who did impress yeah, against very Liverpool, good, very and good. Tyrone Mings as well, who remains on the sidelines. So, no real change for those two as things stand. Right then, on to this week. Mm. Who's our first one to watch? Uh, well, we're kind of searching somebody that might be of interest uh, to you guys, and I thought we'd go for Christian Eriksen, who there's a lot of talk about just now. Um, will he stay at Spurs? I would doubt it very much which puts him high on the agenda because it's not as if he's not going, going to go to a high-profile football team. Yes, obviously been linked uh, with Real Madrid and Manchester United, mm -hmm. hasn't he? Yeah. Um, for you, Al, uh, which one can you see him going to? I would probably think, um, at one point I did think he would go to United, to be honest, and I thought the deal would have been done already, mm -hmm. but it hasn't materialised itself. Now, I don't know whether that was because of switch over of managers, um, Solskjaer doesn't fancy him, uh, he's gone down the line. I still think his, his destination will be in Madrid. Tw um, 27 years old as well, yeah, so exactly. good age. Yeah, exactly. That's unbelievable. I, I was 27 when I went to Bayern, so it's, it's a good thing, you know, you've experienced the English, you know, he's, he's already, you know, he's been all in, in Europe, etc, etc, he knows what the, the thing's about. I mean, he's a very, like, let's cut to the chase, he's a very, very good football player. To have him in your portfolio, with the media potential that he has, then you got to think if he signs for Man for uh, sorry for Real Madrid, then um, it, it, it might be a pretty good uh, buy for on football index. Definitely. Well, uh, he has been up and down. He's had a bit of a turbulent month um, with his price, but seen an increase of about four percent in the last. Seven days, obviously, with the January window approaching. And he'll be in the Euros, of course, with Denmark. Yes. Um, which, uh, with, again, yeah. we have to think about because most of the players, we've actually obviously taken some players that are not going to be involved in the summer. Mm -hmm. Depay, unfortunately, with his injury, won't be there. So that's kind of hit us a little bit on his share price. But with Christian Eriksen, then you'd expect in the share price to go up. Definitely. Well, that's our first one to watch. Let's move on to our second one. And I know, Al, that you are a big fan of this yeah, guy. Good player. Uh, Leicester City fullback Ricardo Pereira. Good player. Really good football player. Um, good business by Leicester when they brought him in for previous manager, uh, Claude Puel. Uh, got him, to be honest, at a steal, I don't know, less than 25, 26 mm -hmm. mil, whatever it was. But he is part, I would imagine, I mean, they talk about Vardy, they talk about Madison, etc, etc, etc. Even with, with, with Casper in goal, I would think he's almost first on the team sheet. Hasn't let him down, mm -hmm. he's a good fullback uh, and part of Leicester's success at the moment. And it would just be one I'd be thinking about again with looking to the Euros, with Portugal, etc. Exactly. Where the share price might be going in the, in the right direction. And there's also talk as well of Real Madrid and Barcelona potentially in the market for right back, so that could... Yeah, uh, their full-backs are coming of an age, uh, Sergio Roberto, Carvajal, uh, getting of an age, of, they, they, you know, again, Real Madrid might be, we talk about Ericsson maybe going to Real Madrid, I think they're in a bit of a transition as well, Real mm. Madrid, and they'll be looking to bring in players at that top end, certainly that are all internationals, um, and I, I just think, of all the players we could have put in, I'm trying to think a little bit forward, you know, and think of a share yeah. price that may get better. And certainly he's one I think we, we might be on the right side of. Definitely one to watch there. <laughs> Excited to talk about this next guy. Our third one to watch this week is the one and only Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, so he's recently left LA Galaxy. And despite rumours that he was joining AC Milan, that deal seems to have fallen through. But he mm. has now been heavily linked with Everton, hasn't he? Man crush. You love him, don't you? Oh, 
I have Zlatan, a, run. Run as far as you can. <laughs> I have. I love you dearly, but boy, Zlatan is the... It, I mean, listen, I was lucky enough to be a football player. For me, he can do it all. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you've ever seen him live, he's fantastic. But he's, a bit, he's six feet, I don't know, six, four, six, five. He's a big guy, but his touch is unbelievable. Now, we've known how good he is, because he's told us how good he is, after yes. all. Self-belief. Yeah, exactly. Now, the Everton thing has uh, come from a bit of left field. Yeah. And remember, we're talking about we're talking about share price. We're talking about media potential. I don't know if there's a bigger media potential of any football player ever, uh, and, and we know what kind of uh, what kind of star he is. But in terms of the football set, how old is he? Uh, uh, he's thirty-eight, so he's half your age he? now. Yeah, exactly. So I didn't realise he was thirty-eight. No, that's quite. That's I mean, remember when he was at Manchester United to be 35, 36, and he was pretty good with Manchester United. Mm. Um, can he do it if he was to go to Everton? Maybe. If Carlo Ancelotti gets the job, would his first signing be Zlatan? I don't know. It's just one I thought, well, at Christmas, we could throw a little curveball yeah. in. And I love the guy. And I, I just don't... Uh, have we got a share price for him, by the way? Uh, well, we, we don't... Yeah, his current football index is 87p. Right, OK. But, you know, like you say, media dividends, mm. that could definitely, definitely go up. Oh, there's, there's no question. And, and, and after all, if he, if he does sign for Everton, um, I don't see him sitting in the sidelines and sitting on the bench too often. Mm. You know, he'll want to start. And if he does, then 87p could easily go over a pound, no it problem. Could. And again, he might be one just as a sideways one to have on your portfolio, but... If he comes back to this country, I think it'd be absolutely fantastic. He's definitely got the likability factor. Oh, there's no he? question He's about it. And like you, you quite rightly said, the media potential yeah. side for Slatan in football index terms, might be a winner. It could. Well, if you like the sound of Zlatan, uh, the man who posted on Instagram when he left LA Galaxy saying, you wanted Zlatan, I gave you Zlatan, you are welcome. <laughs> the story continues. Now go to watch baseball. Yeah, exactly. really, <laughs> he really. is definitely one to watch. He is we like him. I am such a crush on the guy. He's different class. Football terms, amazing. Back in England, we'll have to wait and see. Definitely. Right then, that is it. That's our final episode of Ones to Watch for 2019. Remember, you must be over 18 and please do make sure you're gambling responsibly. Alan McAnally, thank you so much. Thanks, Emma. Have a wonderful Christmas. You too, sweetheart. And a happy new year. We'll see you in 2020.